Hello beautiful people, MJ here bringing you another new video today. So I thought I'd continue with my clarinet video today. And I know I ended my last video about the Bells opening a crystal mouthpiece, the Crystal CG Plus from uh, Bakun. I tried it right after that video and guys, it was awful. <laughs> I mean, it was just so terrible. I was like, you can't even make a comparison. Um, not to say that it's terrible for other clarinet players, uh, it's more my setup and I think the reed strength that I use and things like that. I will say it was a little confusing because Bakun's website says that the CG Plus is like a medium opening and then the CG is a closed opening and then the vocalize, the CG mouthpiece is um, open. And then, but when I reached out to them, they were like, oh, the tip opening is the same on both the CG Plus and the, the CG Crystal uh, mouthpieces. And I was like, well, your website doesn't say that, so what's the, is there really no difference? Because other retailers were actually saying the tip opening was different um, from the way that they measure them. But Bakun's saying they're not, so I don't know. It just seemed like they didn't really know their product very well, and I'm not bashing Bakun, it's just I've had issues with them for like eight months it seems like like literally eight months so I don't know I was just so confused I was like I'm just gonna send it back and get my money I'm not even gonna try another one because you have to pay a restocking fee anyways and then you have to pay for it to get shipped so I spent fifty dollars just to get it shipped um, and with the restocking fee so it's kind of a waste of money to try so many different mouthpieces from them because you have to pay so much money to send them back I do have this I did end up ordering two mouthpieces from uh, Walter Grobner. I don't know if it's Grobner or Grabner, but I'm gonna say Grobner. He is a really nice guy. I can already tell just from my couple of exchanges with him. And I sent a very long email to him and kind of explained my setup and everything. Uh, mouthpiece, clarinet, the whole bell barrel fiasco, my ligature, the reeds I like to play on. And I asked him about three mouthpieces and if he could give me insight so I can narrow it down because these are not cheap. Um, I know one of them was a little over 300 and then the other one was 400. They are not cheap mouthpieces and I'm hoping that they're worth it. He sent an email back and narrowed it down to two for me. So today I'm gonna be testing the S2C model and the S3M. LE model. So those are the two he recommended for me to try. So I'm super excited to uh, open them. And today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I'm not doing it formally with my good mic or anything like that because I'm going to only compare these two mouthpieces as opposed to my original Van Doren BD5. I'm going to save that for the next video, but I kind of want to go ahead and narrow it down between the two of these before I compare it to the other one because I'm not gonna keep both of these either way. So um, as you can tell, I have not opened it yet. I've been waiting to do this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this and hopefully not mess up the box too much so I can reuse it. That was easy. Easy packaging. And voila, here they are. Before I try them, or before I try each one, I do want to give a little bit of a background on them. I'll read it from the website, but, <coughs> excuse me. What is <laughs> coronavirus? Speaking of which, you guys, this quarantine stuff is getting to me already. Like, in case you can't tell, yes, I'm kind of letting myself go a little bit, but I mean, let's get real. I'm not going to get snatched being up in my apartment all day, so I don't really care. And to be honest, I'm not even wearing pants right now, so... You know, we're gonna just gonna try these out. They looked cool in the pictures. The first one I'm gonna try, actually I wanna try this one first. I wanna try the S2C. I will say that both of these mouthpieces are optimized for the Legere reeds. The, uh, more specifically though, the four strength, four uh, European cut Legere reeds. Um, which I thought was really cool because part of the issue whenever you get a new mouthpiece is also finding the optimal 
uh, reed for it, and he kind of designs the, the mouthpieces around the reed as opposed to just designing the mouthpiece and you have to figure out which reed you want. But the first one I'm gonna be testing is the S2C model. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. As you can tell, like the material is pretty cool and there's like a little wavy design in it. But yeah, I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. But uh, it's pretty cool, it feels different. And anyway, I wanna read the uh, description of the S2C. It has a larger chamber and deeper baffle, uh, and this mouthpiece has a warm, dark tone. It produces a very focused sound, yet also projects well and possesses very fast response. It's less open than the S2M, which is another model he has. And he said it plays well with a Vandoren V12 three and a half and plays especially well with a Leger European cut number four. And just so you guys know, in case you do play on Legers, it does say that the reed fits the facing perfectly or vice versa. Uh, and in fact, he added an option for you to order the reed with the mouthpiece. It's pretty, pretty interesting. I, I've never met someone nor seen mouthpieces that were developed for a reed in particular. More so for the S3M LE. This one wasn't necessarily made for the reed but he does mention for that one that it's like pretty specific it's like if you play on this reed it's for you I'm gonna go ahead and see as you can see the back it has like those um, grooves too it's interesting it's interesting um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this sucker on and for what I said a minute ago when I coughed I don't mean to make light of the coronavirus situation at all I'm sorry if I offended anyone it's not my intent it's just the first thing that comes to mind now anytime I hear someone cough and as you can see I do play um, explicitly and there goes one of them on Legere's and oh wow, it does fit really nicely because typically the back is too narrow for the European cut. And I did mention also, and I know this is more so for my clarinet nerds, so I'm sorry if you're subscribed to my channel for the other content I post, but I still hope you're, you're listening because I still want you to vote which one you like more. But um, I do want to say that with the uh, Legers, I like how consistent they are. And the caveat I've had in the past with European cut is that they're typically bright and I don't like the bright sound for clarinet. And that's one caveat I did tell him that I didn't like and I think that's why he recommended um, the two of the three I sent him was because they do tend to have a darker tone. So I'm hoping that kind of offsets it a little bit. But I have it on, ready to go. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the response actually is quite nice on this. I'm not gonna lie. Very easy to play. One thing I'm already noticing is it does move super easily. Um, like it doesn't quite fit snug enough, which can be a problem. Um, but that can be fixed with cork if I just um, put a thicker cork around it. It is super clear and I love the resonance. It, there is something different to the sound and I can't quite put my finger on it, on what it is. My lower register sounds more focused. Um, it doesn't get that um, edginess to it, because uh, typically when you get low on clarinet, um, sometimes it gets less round, and it doesn't seem to have that roughness to it like my other mouthpiece. <laughs> I 
I will never ever not be able to play my B flat melodic minor scale. That was always one that got called out often in undergrad before my sophomore qualifying, and that is my favorite scale to play. Um, <laughs> You know what's funny is it really doesn't sound super, super bright. This is, this is interesting. I'm kind of speechless. I was not expecting to hear that much of a difference, uh, but I'm, I'm impressed. I actually really like this. I can already tell I like this better than my other mouthpiece, but keep in mind, clarinet players out there, that if you are looking for a new mouthpiece, sound is not the most important thing, not to me anyway. I, I prioritize intonation above everything else because you can always change and adjust your sound with other things and other accessories. I can already say I really like this much better than my other one. I'm excited to compare it to the other one, but that's not the point of this video. I gotta keep you on your toes. While I switch these out, I do wanna say I'm getting some interesting responses from my bell video. So if you voted on that video, thank you. And if you haven't, Go check it out now, because I'm not gonna release the results from that that I've gotten so far uh, in this video, because again, I wanna save it for when I'm comparing to my original mouthpiece. So the next one is the S3ML-E, and I'll read a little blurb on that one as well. This mouthpiece is an entirely new design. It was developed exclusively for use with the Legere European Signature Reeds. If you use these reeds, you should try this mouthpiece. Important design characteristics made specifically to enhance the use of these reeds have been carefully thought out and realized. These mouthpieces were optimized for use with the Legere Signature European Cut in the number four strength. If you prefer to have it optimized to the number three and three quarter strength, please let me know when ordering. So I thought that was really, really cool that he's willing to even adjust it if you want a softer read. Features of this mouthpiece I'm about to play are a warm dark tone, uh, enhancement of facility, excellent intonation, including the altissimo. Fast tonguing is easy, so I'm gonna compare that with this one. That's why I articulated on the other mouthpiece, because I remember this one saying that the tonguing, fast articulation is easy on this one. Um, and then it even says excellent dynamic range and can play very softly with ease. So there are lots of pros on this one based on the description on his website. Again, his name is Walter Grobner. So getting this one out, and then just so you can, I'll show you anyways. See, it looks exactly the same. And then if you wanna see which one it is more specifically, I don't think it's focusing any at all, but. Ooh, well this one fits better on the barrel too. Maybe that's a good sign. Okay, I have my, Legere European cut number four. Again, probably not really focusing there for you, but um, that's what I'm playing these with. You, okay. Voicing's a little different than what I'm used to, um, but it is. It is super easy to play soft on. Um, The, the low register sounds fuller to me. I don't know if you guys can hear it, um, but it sounds, it actually sounds pretty rich and dark, which I'm honestly a little surprised by too. Um, response is super easy. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty shook right now. I am, okay, sorry about that awkward cutoff. My battery just died on my camera, um, but I'm back. <laughs> so what I was saying was the low register was actually pretty nice and full and rich, and it sounded even rounder than the other mouthpiece in my opinion. 
Okay, so I think some of that's just going to be a little bit of an adjustment. Um, the, the intonation, the tone, I feel like is a little off on the altissimo, just a little bit with the articulation. It's just a different feeling. Uh, it is easier to articulate. I was purposefully playing my E, F, and F sharp because on uh, for me, those three notes in the altissimo range, uh, at least on this clarinet, are a little more resistant. Um, and I have difficulty getting those to come out and speak consistently. So, uh, but they, I mean, they come out much easier. So, um, I, I'm a little surprised. I mean, I know that's what it says online. I know that's how they're described, but that's not always the case. They're not, they don't always play the way that they are advertised, but... So that's all I'm going to do for this video, you guys. Let me know which one you think, if you like the first one or the second one better. Comment below. I have the poll right up here for you guys if you want to do the poll instead. The first one was the S2C. The second one was the S3M LE. And uh, again, I was playing on a Legere European Cut Strength number 4. And I have to say, I am actually... Uh, loving, I, I mean, I like both of them, and I do think both of them would be an improvement from my BD5 that I have. There's more clarity, and you guys have heard me in all my other clarinet videos. All of those are done on my BD5, so I mean, it's not like you can't compare, but I don't want to do a side-by-side -side comparison in this video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I'm, I'm surprised at how great both of them are. But thanks for watching this video if you made it this far. I appreciate your input, and I don't care if you're a musician or not. I really just want to know what you think, which one you like better and why. And it doesn't have to be anything super sophisticated or anything like that. You can put something as, as basic as, you know, I just like the sound better. You know, it doesn't have to be anything specific. But uh, thank you all for coming and spending time with me during this quarantine, social distancing stuff that's going on right now. It's literally driving me crazy and it's kind of messing with my mentality a little bit. It's like not motivating me to do much and I hate being cooped up so much. And I have so much work I need to do and I keep putting it off because I'm just not in the right mindset. There's just a lot of anxiety going on uh, around the world and every, literally everything is just kind of um, piling onto it. But just... Take care of yourself, uh, be there for others in any way or capacity you can. I wanted to close this video with a couple of shout outs. First of all, I wanted to shout out to uh, Heather. She's one of my friends and she got me this amazing opportunity to do an online uh, performance of a symphony that uh, I guess one of her friends composed or someone she knows composed and he was looking for an A clarinet. So I will be participating in that and it sounds so cool. I am actually super excited to be doing this and it's a project that's going on because of the quarantine. We're gonna record ourselves playing it and he's gonna compile it and it's gonna be super, super awesome. I was so stoked to be a part of that. And I also wanted to give a shout out to the user Finn7, AKA my best friend Lara, uh, for supporting my channel subscribing and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much. And uh, as I'm running out of time on this tape, yeah, I gotta hurry. I have like 20 seconds left. But uh, thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And I can't talk right now because I'm going too fast, but uh, click that like button. And uh, don't forget to comment below which option you like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. I have like five seconds to spare.